Hey guys, and welcome back to another video of mine. Jacob Hoover here. And today I'm presenting to you my two LEGO ATRTs based on the Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith sets. Um, when I got these sets, I was very happy because, for one thing, at the time they were very cheap. I think they were about maybe... 10 15 dollars each which i'm kind of surprised they don't really do stuff like that anymore because like when they released the clone wars atrt the one that's like like tall and scale like this like these two and it came with a 501st trooper then master yoda with a sniper droidica i never got that one because it was a little pricey like these were actually really cheap it just came with uh a trooper and an ATRT, and I have two of them because I got one for a birthday present and one as a um, secret Santa from a uh, school. And I think that was back in 2005, I think. So that was a while ago. Um, I really like these. Now, keep in mind, I did not notice until like really later. But the uh, symbols on the troopers are, like, not accurate. Now, these troopers do technically exist, that, and, and all that. They're part of Commander Neo's forces. But they were never on the Battle of Kashyyyk, and we never saw them riding the ATRTs. Instead, we saw the uh, clones known as ATRT drivers. And, unfortunately, we've never been able to get a LEGO set like that. I really wish we did. Like, I almost think they could do that now, because it really resembles the ARF Trooper, and thanks to the Clone Wars, we now have ARF Troopers. I really think they could have done really well if they made one of the updated ARF Troopers, especially in the Umbara pack. That would have been nice if they had not only just a 501st uh, soldier in Phase 2 armor, they would also have the... Uh, um, ARF Trooper, like the 501st version, so, so yeah. Um, I also would like to compare real quick with these sets. I have my other ATRT, my custom build, and, uh, you can see it's a lot shorter, and technically it's supposed to be that way. Like, like you saw, like I think many of us saw in Star Wars, uh, the Clone Wars on the Battle of Ryloth, that the clones were able to just jump on like a little bit easier. Like the newer, those ATRTs are like these ones here are really tall. <laughs> so, like I'm not against that. I really think they were well designed during their time. They're really cool. Um, I also I also want to really quick also compare uh, this. I know it's a speeder bike, but I'm more focused on the character that the clone of assassin armor, and it's this was the very first clone assassin we ever received, and so technically to me that's Commander Neo. And if you bought more of them, it, it would be just more of his troops, and they pretty much wore the same armor. You, was, I did not really see anything that distinguished between him and the others that much, like. There might have been a few like details, but it might, might have been minor details I did not notice yet. But, as you can see, the symbol matches with those. Yeah, and um, So now, in a sense, I have a Commander Neo with some soldiers. Now, if I put them on speeder bikes or something, it would actually be a really good set. Um, so, that's pretty much it for that. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, let me put in the comments below. Do you like it that um, that the ATRTs were a tall size and came with one troops and were really cheap, or do you um, prefer the ATRTs to come with sets like uh, a small ATRT they sold a while back with a turbo tank for, during the Clone Wars period that they released? And they all, and also it's in the newest um, turbo tank that was recently sold as well. So yeah, you guys, let me know on uh, what you think would be a really cool um, ATRT set like in the future, like 
just uh, post in the comments below, and uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts. All right, I guess I'll see you guys next time.